This is Thomas Brown, who, when he was 18 years old, was last seen alive around 11.30 p.m. on November 23, 2016. The high school senior who missed his curfew. Temple County Sheriff launched a search after he was reported missing. His personal possessions, including a cell phone, backpack, books, and clothing, were discovered on a road, and his car was abandoned near a wastewater treatment plant. For a long time, investigators believed that there was no foul play involved in this case. Allegedly, at the time, his cell phone data showed what appeared to be an internet search for a suicide hotline. In the early morning hours of January 9, 2019, over two years later, a sheriff's deputy located human remains. Dental records confirmed that they belonged to Tom Brown. However, his remains were found 14 miles from where his car had originally been found. Tom Brown's family actually turned to an investigator, Klein Investigations and Consulting, I did not believe that this was a suicide. That how did Tom kill himself and drive himself over and put himself under a tree where his body was found? Luminol tests on Tom's vehicle looking for blood evidence showed, quote, an enormous amount of glow inside the car. And further testing indicated that the blood did belong to Tom. Reportedly, a cadaver dog alerted outside the vehicle, indicating a body may have once been inside. Klein, the investigator stated in an interview, quote, our theory has been and has always been that someone must have come up behind Tom while he was sitting in the car and shot him in the head. Klein also stated that he found a 25 caliber shell casing in the Durango. He also stated that the last ping of Tom's cell phone is within 100 square yards of the football stadium at Canadian and that they believe that the incident happened near the football stadium. A team of investigators are looking back into the death of Tom. They are trying to determine if he died from accident, suicide, or homicide. In October of 2021, the new cold case and missing persons unit formed within the office of the Texas Attorney General, and they took on their first case, which is this case, the Tom Brown disappearance and death. It has now been over six years since Tom disappeared and almost four years since his body was found. Klein stated, we want the killer to know we are working on this case. We want him or her to know you can't get away with murder. We want them to know we are coming after them.